As more and more states legalize marijuana for either recreational or medicinal use, the DEA is going in a completely different direction. In fact, it unilaterally scheduled a component of marijuana as a Schedule I drug. And the most maddening part about this is the component that they specified is not a psychoactive component of the drug. In fact, it's the non-psychoactive component that many people utilize for medicinal purposes. Now, Schedule I drugs are not supposed to have any medicinal purposes, but the DEA doesn't care. Now, uh, International Business Times reports that an extract containing one or more cannabinoids that has been derived from any plant of the uh, genus cannabis other than the separated resin obtained from the plant is now a scheduled one drug, okay? So CBD is what we're specifically talking about. And all other extracts derived from the cannabis plant, psychoactive or not, will come under schedule one drugs like heroin, LSD, marijuana, and ecstasy, and cannot cross state lines. Okay, CBD, again, non-psychoactive component of marijuana, uh, actually the the very medicinal component of marijuana. In fact, uh, some extract CBD from the cannabis plant to give to children who are suffering from seizures, um, and it helps. It helps uh, lessen the, the amount of seizures they have. What it doesn't help is the bottom line of the pharmaceutical companies. They could have come up with a super expensive medicine for that instead. Now you're gonna let uh, something that's natural in the world actually cure people where they can't make a huge profit off of it? With no scientific basis at all, you can just make it the Schedule One drug, even though it's not a drug. It has no; to it's not going to intoxicate you, and it, it has clear medicinal benefit. But you're going to say it's the mo among the most dangerous dangerous drugs in the world. Why would you say that? You'd only say it because the drug companies are your boss, and so whether it's the Democratic Party or the Republican Party. They work for these guys. It goes further than that, though. The DEA makes the majority of its money, uh, or they make their careers off going after marijuana, right? And think about it. I mean, marijuana is listed in the same schedule as LSD and heroin and all these other drugs that are, you know, harmful. Heroin especially, right? Especially considering the epidemic that we're dealing with right now. But, but this is all a way of criminalizing people who use the drug instead of giving them treatment. And when it comes to the case of marijuana, that's, that's the DEA's bread and butter, man. Like, it's much easier to go after people who, who use marijuana. Every, almost everyone uses it. Okay, isn't this incredible that Trump put uh, Rick Perry in charge of the Department of Energy? Rick Perry's literally said in the past, I want to get rid of the Department of Energy. He put Scott Pruitt as the head of the EPA. He has sued uh, the EPA to stop all the regulations in the past. He has put Betsy DeVos, who's against public education, in, as the Secretary of Education. So he's willing to obliterate all these departments. But this failed war on drugs and the DEA that is acting against uh, the clear interests of the American people, and by that I mean according to public opinion polling, not our op opinion, the American people's opinion, very, very clearly say, God, end the war on drugs and, and legalize marijuana. The one department he is not going to obliterate is the DEA. Instead, he's going to empower them. And, and it's look, it's bipartisan. Obama never moved it off of Schedule One. Nope. He had eight years. So, and then when I remember when they first one of the first questions that rose up among popular voting for Obama to answer was legalizing marijuana. And he laughed at it. Mm -hmm. And I remember when he was asked that and he laughed it off like, <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. Like what? That's that would be change. What did I run on change? No, no, if you give me 28 terms, then I might eventually get around to calling it a Schedule II, let alone decriminalizing it. So will you act already? For God's sake, act already. So Obama's not going to do it and Trump's going to make it worse. But guys, you know, every, they keep laughing at the people who want to legalize. It isn't about wanting to get high. Sure, that's great and we're Americans and we're supposed to have freedom and we're supposed to be able to do what we want, right? But it, more importantly than that is prohibition creates gangs and crime. When we did prohibition against alcohol, we had giant gangs, Al Capone and all the rest of them. We have prohibition against marijuana, we have giant gangs and the crimes that go along with it. And a prison industrial complex where we put all these people who need help into prisons. So my point to you is, 
if it's a Democrat or Republican, if they say they won't legalize, throw the bums out. Never give anyone a vote that says, yes, war on drugs, it's a total success. I'm going to continue this insane war on drugs. I'm going to continue to imp imprison our fellow Americans, and I'm going to continue to make these kind of decisions. If they're not for shutting the DEA down, if they're not for legalizing marijuana, you should never give them your vote. And they'll snicker. They'll keep on snickering until you throw their asses out. Podcast the whole two-hour Young Turks every single day, commercial free, all-star Tuesdays, aggressive progressives, old school, post games, TYT classics. You get it all with membership. Do it now. TYTnetwork.com/slash/join.